Well, it is that time once again to pay a visit to Billis Manger. As in today's big finish, Torchwood Main Range review, I'm going to be taking a look at the June 2022 Main Range release entitled Dead Plates, as written by David Llewellyn, featuring the return of Murray Melvin as Billis Manger. This release is available to order now on the Big Finish website, the physical CD is £10.99 and the download is £8.99 and it can also be purchased as part of a bundle alongside the most recent Torchwood main range releases. Something that I would like to mention before starting off this review in detail is that this release does feature some adult material, making this release not suitable for younger listeners. Dead Plates sees Billis Manger on a mission to be killed in 70s Soho. Friends Felicity Templeton, Oliver Barleycorn, Beryl Finch and Gerald Spencer meet up for a celebratory drinks at their usual watering hole known as the Mary Cossack, but it's soon clear that it's going to be a rather eventful, bloodthirsty evening. Starting off this review by talking about the return of Murray Melvin as Billis Manger, I absolutely adore the character. I've listened to a number of his outings with Big Finish before, however I've only reviewed the main range story in Title Curios, which is a very good episode written by James Goss that I highly recommend checking out. But this episode does something very different. For a start, we're not in a cave this time, we're in a rather stylish drinking establishment in the 70s. The one word that I think rather suits the character is fascinating, because you're never quite sure what Billis is up to or why. Even by the end of a Billis Manger story, you're never really quite sure that you've got all the pieces of the narrative. He is always one more step ahead, knowing more than the listener and the characters that he's surrounded by. He constantly leaves everyone at a disadvantage especially when the people that he graces his presence with are usually, to an extent, lay people, and not whatever godly weird force or entity Billis is. Murray Melvin is as excellent as ever. The audio drama form keeps the listener hooked on every single word within his performance. There is never a moment of chaos or dramatics when Billis is around. He is very orderly, calm and collected, which makes him all the more sinister. For such a gentlemanly role, he also appears to really incite other people to inflict violence to others, but his weird hold over people is actually what makes him scary. Dead Plates will not be a story for all Torchwood fans. It's a rather detailed plot which starts off with lots of exposition that allows the narrative to form, which is something that I'm not particularly used to when it comes to the Torchwood main range. I'm normally used to being able to click play on a Torchwood audio drama, sit back and listen to it, and not necessarily give it my full attention because the plot itself is usually very, very easy to follow, usually with a very small cast. This episode is a bit different. The cast is in fact a bit larger than usual, but also we visit lots of different locations as opposed to being in one fixed place. So this creates a really lovely sense of really being in 70s Soho, but also at the same time perhaps this episode requires a bit more attention compared to some of your other Torchwood stories, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We are told multiple stories from the perspectives of the dinner guests, which have all taken place on the week running up to the drinks event at the Mary Cossack, all of which may or may not include a little appearance of Billis himself. This could be from an act of sabotage to land a role in theatre, or an ill-intended press article, or maybe even something worse. The behind the scenes make reference to an inspector calls being similar in style, which looking back I can certainly agree. As a listener, it definitely kept me on my toes listening to these mini stories and how they contribute to the overall main plot of the episode. It's a tad like an Agatha Christie murder mystery, where you can't really trust anyone who is around the dinner table, because they all have have ulterior motives or stories that they're hiding. Because of this, I think that Dead Plates is quite daring as a Torchwood story, as its style isn't exactly stereotypical to the likes of Torchwood that we see on TV. If you are a fan of the more Victorian releases alongside the Queen, I'd say that you'd probably like this one because those episodes are usually more based around the actual motive of the alien thing within the story, but I suppose within this episode, it focuses more on the actual humans themselves and their interactions and the, I suppose, result of their actions rather than alien technology and kind of you have Billis playing God throughout and the fact this episode requires a bit more attention isn't necessarily a bad thing. 
I like the way that David Llewellyn writes each character, giving them a purpose and relevant occupation. From theatre work, being an artist or a column writer, it captures the era but also draws attention to the fact that all these people have their own personal secrets and things that they're hiding. As the story plays out a little more, more information is revealed to the listener, which may change the perspective you previously had formed of certain characters. Hugh Ross, Cleo Silvestri, Tony Turner, and Rosa Escoda all contribute well-rounded performances for a considerably cast-heavy Torchwood story. So in summary, comparing the two most recent Torchwood main range releases together, being War Chess and Dead Plates, the Torchwood main range continues to be one of Big Finish's most varied ranges that they're currently releasing, always reinventing itself and presenting something new and intriguing, which admittedly will not be for everyone. Dead Plates is a precise character piece which continues to explore the bizarre omnipotence of Billis Manger, who I don't think I will ever grow tired of listening tomb. So there we have it, that is my review of Torchwood Dead Plates, featuring Murray Melvin as Billis Manger. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do of course stay tuned on the host productions for regular Big Finish audio drama reviews. The next release as a part of the Torchwood series is Restricted Items Archive Entries number 31 to 49, featuring the return of Yanto Jones uh, as portrayed by Gareth David Lloyd, written by Maddie Wilson. It's a very intriguing sounding story, who knows, I might be able to take a look at that release next month if I do get some time, but until then, I'll see you all in the next Big Finish review. Bye for now.